Here's our firewood retrieval system. Been rolling the logs out sideways, bringing through the wood sled up to that gap just in front of the car there. Using a wood sled. Now, yep, it's a rated strap and a rated shackle and the winch cable going through it. I haven't got full tension on it, so don't worry. I know I'm standing inside the arc of danger. See the winch there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wraps from the end. And we've got to be careful not to run it all the way out, don't we? Even though it's attached. Got to be very careful not to put too much strain on that attachment point, so it's good to operate it with some wraps to start with. I think I'm about the limit there. Through the winch point. And all the way down here. It's a killer walk. Quite steep. There's our giant. One of the giants. scar and a cave inside there. Anyway, here's our track all the way down. We had a very large mountain ash that broke off and we dropped what was left of the trunk and cleaned up the rest from our block, unfortunately, and went downhill. So all the wood's right down here. And we're gonna get it out. Here's the first point. That's about as far as the winch goes which point that log up there just above it so I get the first drag up to here one bite and then I have to run the winch back down and pick up the wood sled here remove the rope section so that's our extension rope got a bowline knot there so it doesn't jam nice bit of old rope doesn't matter if it drags on the right on the ground and here we are right down to the wood sled Cleaned up through here, that's what we're seeing there, there's the stump, fell down through here, and we've cleaned it all high up down here. Now the tree has come down, but for now we're dragging these huge lumps on this little wood sled, the HMAV Timmy wood sled, look at it, it's been doing great work. bits and bobs 30 bucks bit of chain a couple of bits and pieces it's cost me 30 bucks to make the sled and we've got this three round barrel beauty up there ready to go you can see my can hook that's been helping move it around next one to go just roll it over with the can hook this one we're leaving because it's full of large bull ants anyway it's a long haul all the way up there and the thing pulls through on its own. I don't have to go guide it. It'll just go straight through all the way up. I only have to change it once. One bite, two bites. Remove the rope, run the cable back down to the front of the chain there and run it up again. Then roll the log off. So it's a two bite trip. As you can see, there's a fair bit of wood down here. Still ready to go. It's just a slow process. You know what they say? Slow and steady wins the race. Work of art, really. I mean, once I'm finished with it, you never know. You could sort of like sell it on eBay. Fuel on the winch. 
There's my cable, fantastic pulley, and here's the good ship, Timmy Woodsled. This is the second bike. We're using the winch straight to the sled. You can see the rope piled up on the front. That's the first bike. All stacked up ready to run back down and do it again. Sort of jink it around and we'll be rolling it off. Hand hook. It's been very helpful to move things around. That's my first bite of rope and my little tie down system. 30 bucks.